Okay, I'm going to go over the population math problems. And so the first thing you need to get out is your population math formulas to access and reference during the um, paper. All right, so our first problem here is um, right there. What is the birth rate for a country that has a population of 120,000 and 240 births per year? So how we're going to solve this one is we're going to look at our birth rate, which is right here, births over total population. So let's go ahead and solve that problem. All right, so we have here uh, 200 or 2,400 divided by 120,000. So the easiest way to do this is to get rid of a couple of zeros. So we're going to cancel them out, two of them here and two of them here. And now we're going to do a um, long division problem. So we're going to take 100 and, well, 1,200 going into 24. Here's our decimal. Let's go ahead and bring it up to the top here. 1,200 does not go into 24, so let's go ahead and add a zero. Still doesn't go into 240, so now we're going to put one here and another here. Oh, look, it does go into 2,400, so we're, it goes in twice. So our answer is 0.02. Or we can move the decimal point over twice and we can say it's 2%. So our answer to number one is a 2% birth rate. Going on to number two, what is the birth rate for a country with 35 births per thousand? So we'll go ahead and write 35 over a thousand and then we need to do a long division problem to solve this one. Here's our decimal, bring it up, add a zero, still doesn't go in, then we put one here and here, goes in three times. Three times a thousand is three thousand. Subtract, we get five hundred, add another zero, drop it down, a thousand goes into five thousand five times. So our answer is point, I'm sorry, point zero three five, which we can then move the decimal point over once, twice, to get 3.5%. Okay, so going on to number three. <clears throat> what is the death rate for a country that has a population of 1,500,000 and 60,000 deaths per year? So we have 60,000 divided by 1,500,000 <clears throat> Let's go ahead and cross out several zeros, three here and three here. So now we have 100 and, oh, we can cross out actually four. There we go. So we have 150 going into six. So here's our decimal, bring it up. 150 does not go into six, so let's add a zero. Doesn't go into 60, so now we're going to do one here and here. Oh, it does go in four times evenly. Four times 150 is 600. So our answer is 0 0.04. We can move our decimal over or multiply by 100 and we get an answer of 4%. Going on to number four, what is the growth rate for a country that has a population of 11 million with 320 births? minus 650 deaths divided by 11 million. So let's subtract this first and we get a negative 330,000 over 11 million. Let's get rid of our zeros. So let's cross out and we have four here and four here. And so now we've got 1100 going into 33, add a decimal, bring it up, add another 
still doesn't go in. Add another here and here. It goes in evenly. 1100 goes into 3300 and even three times. So our answer is 0 0.03, which is equal to 3%. Going on to number five. What is the population growth rate for a country that has 60,000 births and 50,000 deaths along with 20,000 who immigrate and 10,000 that emigrate? And the total population is 20 million. So now we have a big one to set up. 60,000 plus 20,000 minus the people that leave, die or leave, so our deaths, plus people that leave, which is called emigration with an E, divided by our total population of 20 million. So let's go ahead and first I'm just going to kind of solve up here. This is 80,000 and this is 60,000. So 80 minus 60,000 is equal to 20,000 divided by 20 million. So let's get rid of our zeros, four here, four there. So now I've got 2,000 going into two. Here's our decimal, bring it up, add a zero. Still doesn't go in, add one here and there. Doesn't go in, add another here and there. Now it goes in once. So our answer when we move the decimal point over once and twice is 0.1% growth rate. Number six, Belgium has a growth rate of 0.1% and how many years will it double its population? So here we're going to use the rule of 70 and 70 over R equals doubling time. And it comes out when you do this equation it comes out as years. So we're given the doubling time as, I'm sorry, we're given the um, growth rate as 0.1. And so we have 0.1 going into 70. Now we cannot have a decimal over here, over on this side. We have to get rid of it. So we're going to get rid of it by moving it over once which means we're going to have to take this decimal and also move it over once and fill in with a zero. So now we've got one going into 700, which is just 700. And our answer comes out as years. So we can say that it will double in 700 years. Number seven. Libya is doubling its population every 19 years. What's the growth rate? All right, number seven. Libya is doubling its population every 19 years. What's the growth rate? So we have here 70 over R equals R doubling time coming out in years. R always comes out as a percentage, just so you know. So here we're given our years, but not R. R, our growth rate, so it's 19 years. So we'll go ahead and cross multiply. We'll put 19 over 1, and we'll do 70 times 1, and R times 19. So we have 19R is equal to 70. And let's multiply or divide each by 19 so we can cancel 19 here. We have R is equal to 70 over 19. So 19 goes into 70, and again our answer is going to come out in years, and this one is not very nice, this one is kind of ugly math, but you can round to the tenths place in apes. So 19 goes into 70 three times, 3 times 19 is 57, so you can, you can do scratch math off to the side here, subtract and we get 13 down here, we're going to add a zero and drop it down to get 130. 19 goes into 130, here's our decimal, six times. Six times 19 is equal to 114. Subtract and we get 16. Let's add a zero 
drop it down. 19 goes into 168 times, but we can stop there because we can round to the tenths place. So our answer is 3.7, and that comes out as a percentage because R in this problem will come out as a percentage. So R is equal to 3.7%. Number eight, the country of Togo in Western Africa has a growth rate of 3.5%. Its population is 4.8 million. How long will it take for Togo to double its population? So we don't need to know the 4.8 million yet. We will in a minute. So 70 over R is our formula and they gave us the growth rate. So 70 over 3.5. Some people can do this in their head. If not, just go ahead and put 3.5 here. It goes into 70. Again, we don't want a decimal over on this side, so we gotta get rid of it. And again, we'll get rid of it on this side too by moving it over. So we have 35 going into 700. 35 goes into 70 twice. And then we can add a zero here as a um, placeholder. So. 20 years is our answer to number eight. Number nine says, how long will it take Togo to reach 19.2 million people? So we started at 4.8 million. In 20 years, it's going to double to 9.6. So you just double 4.8 to get 9.6. And this is in 20 years here going to double again in another 20 years and we double the 9.6 so 9.6 times 2 is 19.2 so the time it reaches to get to 19.2 is 40 years and that's the end of our population math problems